And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing The Expanse, a Telltale series. And we're going to be continuing with episode 5 has just dropped. Make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into it. I don't have a gun. Don't need one. Use your night boots. Crush the skull and be done with it. Don't. It was Arlen. He pushed me to do everything. Please. I need help. Virgil! Virgil, open the door! Where's Maya? Have you seen her? She... Miss Castillo was taken to the brig, I believe. Hooked him up to the other dock. He seems stable, but he needs attention. 
Um, we should... We should check his vitals then. What's wrong? They're gonna take me away. The pirates will turn me over to the UNN or the OPA. Once they take the ship, they'll... If they take the ship. We can fight them off, but we need... The OPA? Why would they want you? There's a portion of my military history that I failed to disclose before. An operation that I took part in. The OPA has a standing kill order for any soldier that was present on... Anderson Station. I understand your anger. Do you? You were at Anderson fucking station! You were a soldier in the greatest massacre in the history of the belt, and you hid it from me! Gah! Give me one reason I shouldn't leave you here to fend for yourself! You should. You need to help the rest of your crew, and I'm no use to you like this. Leave me. I don't have time for this. But I don't think I can make it through this without you either. All that matters is getting through this attack. And I need my medic for that. If you had a patient who was panicking, what would you do to help them? I'd recommend some deep breaths. Maybe brew some tea. But deep breaths to start, I suppose. What else? Um, I'd speak softly, use a non-judgmental tone, and try to project an attitude of safety and security. Virgil, the situation is bad. But look at everything you went through to escape the UNN. Look at what we've survived already. And we're going to get through this. I'm going to help you and then you're going to help me. Yes, Captain. Okay. What would you do next? Well, first, I'd assess the patient's fears, try to get to the heart of what's keeping them in an agitated state. You're afraid of being captured and interrogated. Your fake identity won't stand up to scrutiny. Yes. Hmm. Is that all? Well... This ship is my home. I... Whatever happens to me, I suppose... I'm ashamed. And afraid to lose who I've become. What next? Framing the situation. Often it helps to introduce favorable outcomes, to concretize obtainable constructive So think positively. Course. In short, yes. Once we are through with this, you can go back to being a medic. Your past will stay between us. You can keep living in the belt. You'd let me remain a medic after- You're not just our medic. You're the one who makes kibble for the rest of us. You take care of the crew, Virgil. Help me save them, and you can keep doing it. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your help more than I can say. I'll retrieve my hand terminal. Before you go, Anderson Station. We don't have time. I know, but please, you must understand. I never raised my gun. 
I was there to treat the injured soldiers. I, I wanted to. There was nothing I could do for the civilians. I know. You don't. I'm sure you cannot understand the base cowardice of someone who merely follows orders. Regardless of what happens to us, I must know. Can you ever forgive me? I know what it's like to be manipulated into doing something terrible by someone you trust. But forgiveness isn't mine to give. What can I do? You already left the UNN. You came to the belt, where you knew you'd still be in danger. You wanted to find a home. And you found one. Now you must fight for it. You still have work to do here. Thank you, Captain. I'll check on the patient and be ready for whatever happens next. Are you okay? <laughs> Looks like she handled it. Took you long enough. I blew my cover. They're sending another boarding party. Almost here. Ah! You're hurt. I'm ecstatic. You sent more pirates to kill. Drummer. You shouldn't have. They'll send more this time. We need a plan. There's no time! Aim and shoot! You need a better plan than that? Now pipe down and let me enjoy this. Yeehaw, cunt fucker! Let me see. There's no point. I just wanted to take the rest of them with me before... <clears throat> Come on. We need to get you to Virgil. But flying with you, Captain. Uh. 
I'm going to kill a lot more pirates for you before this is over. I promise. Coming for you. Captain, I heard gunfire. Are you, are you injured? I'm fine, but Khan, she, she's dead. I'm sure you did everything you could. There will be a time to grieve later. For now, I'll take care of the body. Thank you, Virgil. Arlen is in the cargo bay with the MK Corps. Firing at the Artemis was risky, but I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Firing at the Artemis was risky. But I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Even if I do survive the pirates and Arlen, I'll need to find a way off this ship before it falls apart. I'll be there soon, Maya. Maya never ceases to amaze me. I just hope I'm not too late. Maya never ceases to amaze me. I just hope I'm not too late. We're a long way from the series docks. But I need all the luck I can get. Arlen is trying to save his own skin. Not if I can help it. The attack must have come during dinner. Thankfully, people made it to their stations in time. First, Khan. Next, Arlen. Arlen's reign as captain seems to be going just as well as expected.
We all make our own destinies, Toussaint. Firing at the Artemis was risky, but I knew the crew could handle it. They didn't let me down. Came to shoot me in the back? Eh, drama? It's better than a Pashangwala like you deserves. Still thinking you're better than me? That's your problem. That's why you lose. You turn your back on me and Baratna. Just like you turn your back on Toss and the OPA. Where is Maya? Even now, all you care about is your fucking India girlfriend. Where is she? Uh, I killed her. 
threw her out the airlock right after you boarded. You pathetic, worthless Owala. Enough! even now, got it? Now finish up with him and let's get the hell out of here, Captain. She was more of a belter than you'll ever be. She didn't have to die. Why? 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 Trouble with your crew, Captain. I have the MK core. Put a bullet in this bitch's head, and we can split the profit. <laughs> I wonder, Kamina Drummer, do you believe in grace? I do. It's what sustained me in that wretched cave the Indians locked me in. It's what binds me and my crew together as family. And this war at this moment gives me pause from killing you. When a weaker, pettier person would savor the opportunity. But Grace must be earned. Oh! Convince me your life matters, and I will let you live. I fight for the people of the belt. Why? Because it's what's right. Because it's what keeps me from going big pigal. My anger either pushes me, or pulls me apart. Without something to fight for, I am nothing. Don't you see how we're meant to be together? Kindred spirits. Two bodies in the same orbit. Finally we meet and you want to squander it all? How much time have you wasted serving inadequate men? trying to fight every battle by yourself. Circumstances set us against each other. But we are not victim to circumstance. Even now, after all the blood between us, we can seize this chance to build a new future together. You want to serve the belt? With our money, we can build a fleet to fight the Inyas, put bounties on their heads, and make sure they never touch us. Our buyer will make us wealthy enough that we can build our own system if we want, and make sure we are always protected. Who is your buyer? It's a private company. There are no private companies in the belt. Is it Checkman? Royal Charter? It doesn't matter. One rich J-Meng or another, they're all the same. What matters is what we do with it. <laughs> mm. 
You think you can trust the inners? That they will hand you money and leave you alone? You're insane. And you're a fool with no vision. Pity. Captain Drummer. Drummer, this is Julie Mao. You've held up your end of the bargain, and now I've held up mine. All the pirates on board the Europa Spain are dead. No! Yeah, look, this is an open broadcast, so I don't know if you're hearing me or who else is. But your crew is on board, and I have the Artemis on target lock. If I don't receive a response from you soon, I will assume the ship has gone hostile and blow it to shit. Oh, and there's someone else here. Drummer, Julie and I are here, waiting for you. Good luck. I'd offer you everything. You have nothing to offer me. I fight for the belt. Ready torpedoes! Mina, you're really alive. Arlen said you were dead. And you believed him? <laughs> Dumbass. You kept me alive. So did you. Watch your step when we get inside. There's a lot of dead pirates. Nearing Ceres Station, Captain. Are you sure we're cleared for approach? We're clear. Dawes controls the docks, and he's decided to lift the bounty on me and play nice. For now, at least.
Drummer? Kamina? Homecoming jitters? Something like that. There's still time. You can at least listen to the message. Why? I know my path back. It goes through series. Through Dawes. It's painful, but... At least I have you at my side. We didn't go through all this shit, just so we could shack up together on series. <laughs> Wonderful as that sounds. We did it so you could build a new future for the belt. That future is for all of us. We're a family. We are. And we'll be together again. But right now, Ceres needs mechanics. That's why Julie and I get off here. Plus, someone needs to babysit the rich girl. But the belt needs leaders. Listen to the message, okay? Drummer. This is Fred Johnson. I believe the last time we met, you were holding a gun to my head. But what's past is past. I think you'd agree. I understand you are returning to Ceres. I am calling to offer you an alternative. I do not claim to speak for the belt. Any person who would do so is as foolish as they are dangerous. The belt is a fractious, toilsome, tinderbox, a graveyard of ideals and ambition. It is also, I believe, the last great hope for humankind. The inners have forgotten how to build. Their focus is on killing each other and controlling belters. I know this firsthand. But belters are builders. We forge new worlds out of rock and metal. It doesn't matter where we came from, or the demons in our past. It only matters what we can contribute right now. I know you have been through a terrible ordeal and that through it all, you never forgot what you were fighting for. That is why I need you here on Tycho as my partner for a new OPA. Come speak with me, see what I am building you have much to contribute, Drummer. Don't let it be wasted. Damn it. Change coordinates. We're making a stop at Tycho Station. Of course, Captain. May I ask, what is on Tycho? Let's find out. the end of the expanse a telltale story as far as i can tell 
I received quite a few achievements during that too. I like the I like the end game so far. Uh, as far as I know of, they are not going to come out with any more storylines. Maybe DLCs at some point. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next upcoming series or other gameplays.